like you're on the catwalk at Zoolander Court or staring at the lights of Broadway. Popular ones, Notre Dame. That's, that's, that's one of the hot ones, as Tom was mentioning, if there's someone's name on it. But city street signs with names like these, names you might recognize, tend to go missing a lot. We came up with 591 signs that we replaced that were missing. Nearly 600 signs in a year, according to Tom Weber with the city sign department. He calls them missing for now, mainly because he can't say for sure they're stolen. Is that a high number, low number? It's not a number that we've actually calculated until you ask us to calculate it. <laughs> he would know. He's seen his share of signs. I've been in this department for 14, so actually in this position. And so now that we know a number of 500 and something signs a year, I mean, do the math. It's, that's a lot of signs. There are some signs. They go missing more often than others. You know, Abbey Road, and it's missing periodically. And there are some uh, street name signs that have people's names, Jerry Way, you know, Thomas Avenue. They'll disappear, and so, for obvious reasons, and then we'll have to put them back up. Which can be a headache for homeowners, like those on the aforementioned Zoolander Court. When we first moved here, we had our street sign stolen probably three or four times. Deneen Greer lives on the street with the famous movie model moniker. They tried to do it quickly. I think after the second time, they probably made an extra sign. <laughs> but for Deneen, it's not just the fact the signs go missing. Without a street sign, people had no idea how to find the small Sacramento cul-de-sac. We had difficulty. People knowing where you live, getting deliveries. Yeah, it was difficult. <laughs> Yeah, unless they had like GPS, even then you probably wouldn't know where to turn. Well, it was a new street, too, so sometimes it wasn't on Google Maps. Thankfully, today, technology makes replacing the signs a lot easier and quicker. We take aluminum from its raw form in a big sheet, 5 foot by 10 foot. That aluminum gets coated with a white reflecting material and stored until they need a new sign, which is a lot easier using computers. Which was back in 1987. Um, they were sticking each individual sign, and that took hours because you had to cut individual letters, lay them out, make sure that they were straight because they, they could move individually. Um, so it did take a long time. Today, the signs are made from essentially a big sticker. Pulling it from our program to get it cut, getting it peeled, it takes roughly about 15 to 20 minutes. That's not too bad. For one sign. But even though getting the signs cut and pasted is quick, it still costs the city to replace those signs. Average numbers around $200. But when you go 500, 600 signs... 120000 a year? That's, that's not chump change. That's not chump change. And maybe the fact that your tax dollars are paying for these replacement signs isn't enough and you just have to have your namesake sign like David Way here. Well, think about the penalties. Taking the sign itself is a misdemeanor. But if you get caught with possession of stolen property, that could lead to jail time. We get calls all the time. The police department will say, hey, in our property section, we've got five or six signs. You know, we want to drop them off. And then they'll bring them down. We'll have already put them back up. So now we have to do something with these signs. And in the end. Until then, the city tries to make them harder to steal, like on Zoolander Court, where they put the sign even higher. It's been a little while, but you know, a new Zoolander movie is coming out, the second, and so I anticipate it might get a little more interest again in the Zoolander sign. Probably don't think about selling them for people who want to have a Thomas Lane or that. No, actually, I can't. In Sacramento, Dave Manacheri for Common Ground.